just in case in any of your notes or anyone said it on any of my videos, including me, in 580-304, it's not three copies. It says, the initiating tribunal shall forward the petition and accompanying documents to the other state's information agency or responding tribunal. Okay, so con continuing with shit I didn't know, that I should have known, sometimes when it's a matter of discretion, sometimes when they may not order it. The only times they may not order it is when it's like a town, village, or city court, and the person is, there's certain situations where, of course, I fucking forgot already, so I'll have to go over that too. <sighs> okay, so I didn't know this question. I just got a CPLR question wrong. So in order to have permissive joinder of parties, one, there must be a common question of law or fact, but I knew that part. What I didn't know is that the rights asserted must arise out of the same occurrence, transaction, or series of transaction or occurrences. So that's why I got the question wrong. The question was something about like um, a bunch of plaintiffs get injured in a bus accident or something, and they're suing the bus company. So what is this an example of? And the fucking answer was joinder, and I didn't know that. How didn't I fucking know that? Okay, so if a defendant wants to implead someone in an action, what do they do? And the answer is they file a third party summons and complaint and serve it within 120 days. And then if the plaintiff wants to assert a claim against the third party um, defendant that was just sued by the defendant, and again, remember the defendant can implead after service of his answer. That's when the defendant can implead, he has to serve his answer first, and then he can implead. within 20 days after after service of the answer. So the answer is gonna have like, um, wait a minute. Okay, the 20 days for the plaintiff to amend his pleading to assert a claim against the third party defendant, that is measured from the answer of the third party defendant. So when the third party defendant serves his answer, that is when the plaintiff has to get his ask in gear and um, amend his pleading to assert a claim against the other guy, the third party defendant, if that makes sense. So it's not from the service of the answer, it's from the service of the third party answer because the third party, fuck, what is it called? The third party defendant has to, has to serve um, his paper, his fucking answer on the plaint, the regular plaintiff and on the defendant, I guess. Apparently, I didn't even fucking know that either. Yeah, so the, the defendant serves his third party summons a complaint on the third party defendant, and then just the third party complaint has to serve um, his paper, his fucking answer on the plaint, the regular plaintiff and on the defendant, I guess. 